Okay, my kindergartners, we are going to finish our Elmer the Elephants. We are going to get back your background pages. You will notice on the back now we can still see Elmer the Elephant and our name on there. First thing we're going to do is we need to cut him out. So you need to make sure that you're on this side and you are taking your time and going as slow as you need to um, to try to cut on the lines if you can. Okay, I'm gonna show you a trick that if you're cutting and your paper here starts to get in your way, take your scissors and simply cut it off so that way it's not in your way anymore. Okay, you're going to cut out Elmer Staying on the line as best as you can. It's okay if it's not perfect, but we want to try to cut out Elmer in the same way that we drew him. If you struggled to trace your Elmer and maybe you have several different lines, take your best guess to try to find which one is the right line to draw or to cut on that one, okay? And I'm gonna make things simple for myself here on the bottom. I'm just gonna cut straight across. But I don't wanna to forget to go back and cut out those little triangle pieces in between Elmer's feet. I need to cut those out. And then I need to cut out the piece here in between Elmer's legs. Okay, just like that. Then I need to cut out this space here in between his trunk. And this is where it gets a little tricky because I have curved lines that I need to cut around. So I'm gonna cut here on this one and I'm gonna go slow. And as I cut, I'm slowly turning my paper. Okay, and I need to come here and finish cutting off the bottom of the trunk. And remember, it's got that little zigzag line there. And then cutting around in a circle to cut out Elmer. And don't forget to cut the little space there for, if I can get it, Elmer's mouth also. Okay? When you're done cutting, you're going to take your scraps of paper here and make sure that you find them all and put them in the trash and then turn it over and behold, you are going to have an Elmer the Elephant. You can almost hear them in the, vid in the video with their laughing. Ho, ho, ho. There's our Elmer. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the eye on for our Elmer. Okay. So your teacher is going to pause the video. So that way everybody can get one of these white squares and we're gonna turn them into our circles. Okay, so we're gonna turn them into our circles. The first thing we're gonna do is how many corners does our square have? Four, or four corners on our square. And to turn it into a circle, we're gonna cut off those four corners, okay? So now it looks more like a stop sign, right? We still have a little bit of cutting, but how many corners do we have now? Eight, we have eight corners. So we're gonna go back and cut those corners off, but remember we're not cutting quite as big as we did the very first time. We're just doing little cuts on them to cut off those little corners to change our stop sign shape into a circle just like that. And I'm gonna take all my little triangle pieces here. I'm gonna get all of those to throw away as well. So we don't put them in our caddy and we don't put them on the floor. Okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a color of crayon. It can be any color of crayon that you want except red. And the reason is we're gonna put in the center for Elmer's eye. And I have found that a lot of times if people choose the color red, then Elmer goes from looking happy and telling jokes and making everybody smile to looking angry. And we don't want Elmer to look angry. We didn't want him to look happy. So I'm gonna choose the color green. You don't have to. I think the last one I did, I chose orange. Either is fine. 
In the center of your circle, you're going to draw and color in the center of Elmer's eye, just like that. Then we are going to glue on the eye for Elmer. Okay, so here's my Elmer. Should I glue it down here? No. How about over here? No? What about here? No, that's not right either. Um, oh, I know. How about right there? That looks right. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna put just a little bit there in the center of Elmer's eye and I'm going to press it down. Okay, I'm gonna press it down, make sure he's all nice and stuck on. Okay, now we have Elmer. He is ready, but we're not done painting yet. We want to make Elmer um, have more pattern on him, kind of like some of the other elephants did at the end of the book. So um, when I finish giving instructions next, your sub is going to make sure that everybody gets a paint shirt. And then each table is going to get a cup that has blue paint in it. We're gonna use our, our teal blue that we kind of used in here. And then each table is also going to get a tray of these. These are what we call gadgets. Gadgets are things that a lot of times people think of as maybe being trash um, or not sure quite what to do, but they have different shapes um, and textures to them that they can use for stamping. For example, I have these wonderful um, foam shapes here that are gonna be great for our stamping as well. Um, I have a couple of lids. Um, this one used to be for maybe like a medicine uh, bottle, I can't remember. This is an old lid off of a marker. Um, I have a Play-Doh stencil, a Play-Doh cutter. Some tables are gonna have a diamond, some tables are gonna have a square. I don't have quite enough of every one of them. Um, this is from the center of the clear tape that we use sometime. This is the little spool that it's on. These right here are spools that usually have sewing thread on them. A lot of times they have stickers on the end to tell what kind of thread it is. But when you take it off, you have this really cool shape to them. They're even both different. How about that? And then the last one that we're going to have here is one of these. These are kind of those rings that you can get like um, in vending machines and stuff like that. They have this great texture on them that we can use um, to gadget stamp onto our Elmer. Okay. So... <clears throat> Your teacher is going to pause the video so everybody can get a paint shirt. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to gadget stamp. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully everybody has their paint shirt now on. Um, and we're going to gadget stamp. So I'm going to choose a gadget. And I'm going to just press the end of it in. I don't want to stick it too far in because I just want to get the end of it. You're going to notice if you have a big hole in your gadget, it's going to create a bubble. See how it's kind of solid in there? That's okay, look, I even have bubbles in my paint. Not a problem. So I'm gonna gadget stamp, and you're gonna even have some bubbles on your picture. You can just blow them off. And I'm going to stamp my gadget across my Elmer. I'm gonna try not to stamp over his eye, but I'm gonna use my stamp um, different places on my Elmer here, kind of like I've got there. When I'm done with it, I'm just gonna put it back in the tray so someone else can use it. Um, I wanna show you guys how to use this one. This one here, you're gonna dip in and you're gonna kind of rock him around a little bit. Kind of tap off some of the end. So that way he ends up with lots, oh sorry, lots of paint on him, okay? And when you stamp him on, you're gonna stamp him, but you're gonna do just like you did in the paint. You're gonna roll him around and he's gonna kind of create these really cool kind of dotted swirlies going on here. They're really fun. Sometimes these can be a little tricky to use too. So <clears throat> if you use it one or two times and you think, ah, I don't really like that, that's fine. You can put it back in the bowl and somebody else can use it. Um, I'm only gonna do about three different shapes on here. You can do more. You don't have to use all of them though. Remember, we still want to be able to see your background colors in here. So we wanna use some gadgets for stamping, but we don't necessarily need to use them all. So I'm gonna do some small circles here on my Elmer. They can overlap a little if they want to. Make them interesting. Okay, when you think you've got him done, make sure you put all those gadgets back in the, in the tray at your table. Um, <clears throat> so they can continue to be used by 
others at your table and that way your substitute can clean them at the end of class. Um, and then the, the cups of paint, the last person that's going to use them is going to go put them over in the sink so they can be cleaned later on. Your Elmers are going to go on to the drying rack so they can dry. Remember to put them in the bottom open spot and don't skip any spaces. And make sure you don't accidentally put your Elmer on top of somebody else's. When you're finished doing all of that, you may get uh, one or two pieces of paper. Ask your teacher to see which one is, um, <clears throat> how much time you have. And you may free draw. Good luck making your Elmer's all gadget stamped and I can't wait to see them when I come back.